we went around pi to the indicated place value. Remember, pi is the irrational constant that we get when we take the circumference of any circle and divide by its diameter. And here we have a decimal approximation for pi, which we will use for rounding. We're first asked to round pi to the ones place value. The first step in rounding is to find the digit in the rounding place value. For pi, the three is in the ones place value. And now we look at the digit to the right to determine whether we round up or down. In this case, the digit to the right is the one in the tenths place value. In general, if the digit to the right is less than five, we round down and we keep the digit in the rounding place value the same. If the digit to the right is five or more, we round up and we increase the rounding place value by one. In this case, the one indicates to round down and therefore pi rounds to three when rounding to the one's place value. And this should make sense because this is telling us that pi is closer to three than it is to four. Next, we want to round to the tenths place value, which is one digit to the right of the decimal point. This one is in the tenths place value. The digit to the right is a four, because four is less than five. We round down, which means pi rounds to 3.1 when rounding to the tenths place value, which indicates that pi is closer to 3.1 than it is to 3.2. Next, we want to round to the hundredths place value, which would be two decimal places. The one is in the tenths, the four is in the hundredths place value. The digit to the right is a one. The one indicates to round down, which means pi rounds to 3.14 when rounding to the hundredths place value. This indicates that pi is closer to 3.14 than it is to 3.15. Next, we have the thousandths place value, which is the third decimal place. To the right of the decimal, we have the tenths, the hundredths, and then the thousandths. This one is in the thousandths place value. The digit to the right is a five. Since this digit is five or more, we round up, which means we increase the one in the thousandths place value by one pi rounds to 3.142 when rounding to the thousandths place value. To the thousandths place value, pi is closer to 3.142 than it is to 3.141. Next, we're asked to round the 10 thousandths place value, which would be the fourth decimal place. To the right of the decimal point, we have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, so the five is in the 10 thousandths place value. To the right, we have a nine, which is five or more, and therefore we round up, increasing the five to a six. To the 10 thousandths place value, pi rounds to 3.1416. To the 10 thousandths place value, pi is closer to 3.1416, than it is to 3.1415. Next, we're asked around to the hundred thousandths place value. So let's count our place values. We have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and the hundred thousandths. The nine is in the hundred thousandths place value. We have a two to the right, because two is less than five, we round down pi rounds to 3.14159 when rounding to the hundred thousandths place value. And this is because pi is closer to 3.14159 than it is to 3.14160 to the hundred thousandths place value. And then finally we have the millionths place value Again, let's go ahead and count the place values to the right of the decimal point. We have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and the millionths place value. This two is in the millionths place value. To the right we have a six, because six is five or more, we round up, which means we increase the two to a three. 
to the millionth place value, pi rounds to 3.141593. To the millionth place value, pi is closer to 3.141593 than it is to 3.141592. I hope you found this helpful.